Hi there. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to um, sort of disperse points in QGIS. There's there's various ways of doing this, and as you can see in this uh, map, I've got all these red diamonds all piled on one another, uh, very very close to each other, and uh, there's there's actually sort of quite a few. So if I just select them quite a few Z A to G all, all appear let's just look at the attribute table so that's all that's all of them all these seven records are all piled up and I'm not too fussed about where they are uh, in as long as they're in the right sort of area um, as you can see focused on Leicester so but there are there are ways of doing this with default QGIS if you look at properties you can go to um, symbology and here you'll see point displacement and point cluster. So you can, um, particularly with point displacement, sort of draw them in a sort of ring. And I've talked about this a bit before, but it's very, it's very organised, and you can make things appear like clockwork and st like a clock and things like that. But it's very, like I said, it's very sort of organised and very, very neat. And actually, what I'd like to do is kind of very randomly spread these red diamonds just just within this area. Uh, and like I said, I'm not too fussed um, about the accuracy. Obviously, I'm not. But um, maybe I geocoded to the center of a postcode um, centroid or a zip code or something, and it's all on the on the center, and they're all dots. But I just want them scattered about the place, just to uh, in in a random manner that uh, doesn't look so fixed, uh, like positioning um, around a clock face or something. So. As with most, th most things in QGIS, there's, there's different ways of doing things. I'm going to show one way, and uh, but, but particularly because this way I'll show you will bring it into play various uh, other tools. So let's get cracking. We've seen the attribute table, and I'm going to apply a randomizer to the X and Y coordinates. But, uh, but obviously, let, let's bring out what the X and Y coordinates are here. Uh, so we can actually see them and, and play with the numbers. A couple of ways of doing this. Under, I'll just move this to one side. Under the uh, vector and the geometry tools, you'll see add geometry attributes. So we could do it this way, and that will add your x and y, and um, you, can, you can create a new. Um, table out of that, a shape file or something, or geo package. So we could do it that way, or we could use, uh, as you see in the attribute table here, the calculator, the field calculator. Because with the field calculator, you can create a new field at the same time as populating with values. So I'm going to create x chord, and x chord is going to come from the geometry. And lo and behold, it's X. So, so this is a create a new field. I'm not updating existing one. Create a new field. I've typed in the field. I'm just going to make it a whole number, um, and uh, off we go. So you can see here, X is is very much the same, um, which makes sense really. This is national grid coordinate. So um, as you can see, X is sort of bang on really um, probably a few decimal point change but um, but that's good enough just for this exercise now let's do the same with y y chord so this is how you can get hold of your geometry see there's loads of geometry stuff in here that you can pick up length and uh, vertices vertex count and stuff so minimum x and y so knock yourself out so again y hardly changes you can see a subtle change Going on in Y as we get head north. Um, so um, uh, there is a few bits of change there, but um, we now have X and Y, two columns, attributes. Uh, note there's a save button, save edits. So I'll click on that and they are now saved. Okay, so now we know what the coordinates are. But I, I'd like to, uh, and, and I made these whole integers, that's why, you know, there's no decimal place, but feel free to change the the, the type. But what, one thing we, we, we're going to do now is 
add on a random X and Y column. So we're going to use the uh, field calculator again. So I'm going to, um, we, we could, we could update X and Y. I'm going to leave that, in fact, I'm going to leave those as is so I can compare the difference. And I'm going to create X um, coord random. So how do what do how do we do that? Well, we take the field, which is x chord, and let's add on some random um, value. So we're going to math, and you'll see rand. And you can have a min and max. So you can set the seed as well if you want to. But these are in meters, so I'm, I'm going to want a minimum of let's say 50 meters in the x, but a maximum of uh, let's say two. Um, let's make it quite big. 300 meters. Um, so um, this is this is X. So you can go anywhere from 50 to 300 meters um, from the current um, position, effectively. So now you can see we've got some got some different numbers there. So there's uh, still a few that will be fairly close, but we could increase that if we wanted. And then on the Y, so create a new field X coord random. And with the field, that is y. Let's plus, we can make it minus if we wanted to and send it the other way. Um, uh, literally, it's any math, you know, plus or minus, it is what, whatever you want to do here. We're just making up random values here just to shift the points around. But we'll, 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 we'll add. And, and in it, why not? Let's, let's make a maybe a bigger change in y. Let's say at least 100 meters and then up to 500 meters, that sort of thing. Press OK. So now we've got some, so those are original, these two, X and Y. And these are our random values. Again, don't forget to press save. Okay, but nothing's changed. Nope, because it's still got the geometry, which is the original geometry of where I manually clicked, where I sort of geocoded these points in the first place. So how do we effectively get this to update? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the original test points and effectively map this new um, map test points using X and Y coordinate random values and call it a different name. So to create points from a layer, create, create a points layer from a table, sorry, so you've got the X and Y value, uh, there is a tool called Create Points Layer from Table, which is easy enough to find. You would look in Vector Creation and Create Points Layer from Table. Lots of other options and um, so this is where we're actually you know using those values uh, these random ones that you see down here that's that's to literally just to generate random stuff but if you um, like I said create points you soon can find um, what you want so create points left table it is yes it is my British National Grid now the X field is my random coordinate and the Y field is my other random coordinate and the target is absolutely 27700 because that's my uh, British National Grid because I'm dealing with these X and Y coordinates in meters so each value is that um, each digit there is like, like a single meter um, so I'll open what I can do is I can create a temporary layer so I can see it on the fly or I could do C temp my randoms um, plus HP Probably better discipline to use geo packages, but I'll use shapefile just just for the um, simplicity of it. So I'm going to create this um, file on the disk. So here we go, or on the SSD, I should say, and it's close. Now we'll see how it's scattered. Those points. So th those red triangles have been turned into these locations. And, and it is the actual data. So if I if I click on my randoms and click on that value, you'll see how I get that's that was A. And what's that one there? That was B. And that was C. There's the original coordinates, X and Y, and they're the new ones. So you can see now that I've got I've got my data scattered um, and, and there was a minimum maximum that I sent. Uh, set 
in my random function as to how far away they go. I could have done minus and sent them another way. I could have done a mix plus x, or but then minus on the y side. So um, you, you, you could do it in, in, in whatever manner you, you wish or make, make the values sort of even, even, even greater. Um, I think I went up to 300, was it 350 meters or 500 meters or something, but you could, could do it a lot greater. But anyway, so that's the um, key to it. That's how you do it. I've got results in, in my new table. If we just open random actually, you'll see that. So it's just a copy of, <clears throat> it's just a copy of uh, test points. Uh, but the geometry from this, uh, are there all these um, dots, so when I click, you'll see them highlighted, but it's the same data, just scattered. So the key to take away about all this is the power of field calculator. And um, uh, where you'll have tons of maths, uh, functions and operators, and all, all kinds of things to call uh, and make use of to help randomize your positioning. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.